Uh, hello everyone, this is going to be the tutorial to explain how to use Investopedia stock simulation. So firstly we need to go to Investopedia's website, which is basically just investopedia.com. Um, once you're on the site, you need to choose the simulator tab. The simulator tab is what we're going to use for, the, for our project. It's the platform you're going to be using to trade uh, stocks. Uh, once you're on once you press on the tab, you're going to get this page and just click on get started uh, You need to register um, On Investopedia so you can use your, your university's email here Create a username that's unique um, and your password. I already have an account. So I'll just log into my account So when, once you're on the account, um, this is the page you will get. Okay, so this is the uh, simulator page. Um, this is the default page that comes with the Investopedia. Uh, they give you 100,000 to trade. You can practice on this if you want, whenever you want. However, for the purpose of our project, we will be using a specific game that has been created for each section. So each section has had a specific game created for them. To access your section's uh, game, you need to click on games here. Once you're on games, you need to search, uh, you need to go to, to join game. This is going to give you a search bar where you can search for your own section's game. So what we've created as the instructors is a specific section for each, uh, so a specific game for each section. So inshallah, once you start, you're going to realize that there's Finance 424, Section 1, Section 2, Section 3, Section 4, and so on. You need to join your own section. So Section 3 students have to join Section 3, for example. Uh, for the purpose of the example, we've only created Section 3 for now. Anyway, so once you search Finance 424, you can even write Section 3 if you want, but so it's going to show up automatically. Um, then you press Join. Okay, please, if you're not from Section 3, do not join Section 3. This is only for Section 3. Each section will have their own game. Let it go on. Section wrong. This is this is a question Anyway, so once this comes up, you just press join. Uh, this is going to ask you for a password. Um, the instructor should be giving you the password. So whoever your instructor is should be uh, giving you your specific section's password, and then you press confirm join. This is going to allow you to join the game. Um, now you're on the game. You can make sure by looking up here. It says finance 424 section 3 See if I go back here. This is the Investopedia default page if I want to go to the um, The sections page which is where you you should be making your trades you need to press on finance 424 section 3 or whatever section you're in um, You'll notice also here. You're going to be playing with 1 million Okay, so the budget here is even higher. You have a budget of 1 million to trade with um, you get some information here. So, for example, on your own uh, your own portfolio, what's the percentage change? What is the annual return? Uh, so in today's percentage change, what's the percentage um, return over in the whole period? How much cash do you have? How much buying power do you have? And all that. Um, it's also going to show you your rank uh, between the other members in the competition. Um, here it's going to show you what you hold currently. So this is a new account. I currently do not hold anything um, And this is going to show your overall performance You can look at the one week performance one month three months and so on We won't be going towards six months or one year because the project will be uh, around three months or so um, uh, To make trades now that you're in the game you need to learn how to make trades So to make trades you need, you need to click on the trade bar here Okay, this is going to give you three options. You can either trade stocks or trade options or look at your order status. Uh, your order status is basically the orders you've put into place but haven't uh, been executed yet. Okay, so things you've asked to buy or asked to sell. However, they haven't been executed sell. You haven't bought them nor have they been sold yet. Anyway, so most of your trades will be stocks. Okay, so we come to stocks. All of your trades are going to be stocks actually. So you come to stocks over here on the stocks bar You can search the company you want. So each company has a symbol 
a ticker. So for example, with Apple, it's you can you can search Apple, but it's AAPL. And this is going to show you Apple. So Apple's company. Uh, I assume that even if you search the name Apple, you're going to get the company's name. So for example, if I want to search Google, that's ABC or Alphabet, sorry. Um, if I search Google here, that's Alphabet. So some of these um, you can find automatically. Some of them will be a bit harder to find. So maybe you need to research what their ticker, what their symbol is. But let's go back to Apple. Let's assume we want to buy Apple. So I'm going to search Apple. Click on Apple just to select it. It's going to show me um, Apple's current price. Um, how much did it change today? So today it went down by $2.69. As a percentage, it went down by 1.80. Uh, this is some information, for example, the highest it's been in the last 52 weeks. Well, this year, the highest it's ever reached is 179. Um, the bid ask price, the difference between the bid and ask currently, and so on. Okay, these are just basic pieces of information that you can find here. You can look at the graph of Apple as well here. Um, whether it's one day, one month, three months, you can see how the chart has, how Apple's uh, stock price has changed. Um, uh, another p important point to notice here is that it says the market is closed. So the market is closed and it won't open uh, and it has been closed since February the 24th, which was Friday. Okay, it's going to open back up on Sunday. So as uh, most of you know, um, the market uh, opens and closes at different time periods. Um, it's open Monday to Friday since this is in the U.S., uh, and has specific timings where it opens. You need to look at what timing that is in Bahrain. I think it's around five. Anyway, once you're on the site, uh, what, sorry, once you found the stock you want to buy, you can come here uh, and decide whether you want to buy it or sell it, or go short or buy to cover. First, let's look at just buy and sell. So if you want to buy the stock, you come here and you click on buy. You choose how many stocks do you want to buy. So for example, uh, there's a total. Uh, each stock is 146. I want to buy, let's say, 50 of these stocks. Okay, I want to buy 50 of these stocks. At one, uh, how do I want to buy it? Do I want to set a specific price, or do I just want to buy it at the market price? I want to buy it at, at the market price. So as soon as the market opens, whatever the price is, this order is going to be executed. Uh, how long do I want this order to stay? I'm going to say I want it to stay. If you choose day only, it means that the order will will be open until um, the day ends. Yani during the day, um, if, if the price reaches what you want, they're going to buy it for you. Um, if it doesn't, then the order is going to be canceled at the end of the day. Um, if you choose good until canceled, it means you want to buy the price until, um, uh, sorry, you want to keep the order open until uh, you're able to buy it at a specific price that you've chosen. Um, in our case, this won't be an issue because we're saying market. So whenever the market opens, automatically it's going to be bought. However, let's assume that I said stop limit and I want to set my own price. So for example, I want to say I want to buy the stock for 100, sorry, 100 and, um, $140. This means that if the price does not reach 140 today or once the market opens, um, I will not be able to buy the stock. Um, only once it reaches 140, only when the market price reaches 140, will my order be executed. Meaning, if the price never reaches 140, then my price will then my order will never never be executed. Um, however, if you put it good until cancelled, the order is going to stay open until the market price reaches the specific price you wrote, and your order can be processed. So let's say I I put it. Um, good until cancelled at a price of $140. Um, I want to buy 50 stocks and so on. Then I can preview my order. Once you preview, this is, it's going to show you how much this order is going to cost you. So this is a brief, brief um, explanation of what we wanted, what we asked for. 50 stocks at $140 each. I want this order to stay open until it's executed. They're going to take a $3 commission. The commission is fixed um, at $3 per trade. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, um, and your estimated total for this trade is going to be around 7,000 
and two point nine nine dollars so this is how much it's going to cost you to make this trade seven thousand are going to go towards buying the stock and two point nine nine which is your commission i'm going to submit my order if i'm happy if i want to change anything i can come here and change let's assume i want to change i want to say instead of 50 stocks i want to buy 500 stocks again i go to preview order and you can see that now this or this um total is going to cost me seventy thousand dollars seventy thousand and two dollars uh, if i'm happy with that i can submit my order and uh, as it says here so your order has been received by our system and it will be executed shortly um, now my order is there i can go and check on my order if i want for example i can go to order status here and i can see that i put an order on february the 25th um, to buy apple stocks the order is currently pending um, i asked to buy 500 stocks at a price of 140 dollars um, and uh, this expires on May the 6th, which is the end of the game, that's why, um, and so on. Okay, this order is going to stay here until it's executed. If it never gets executed and we reach the expiry date, then it's going to go to failed trade. Um, anyway, yeah, so that's basically what you need to know about. Um, so, sorry, if you, if you hold the stock, you're going to notice that here things start changing. You start getting a line showing you your performance. You start seeing how much your uh, stock has gone up and down and so on and on. Um, if you want some useful tools other than that, you can go, for example, here. Um, you can research some of the stocks. For example, if I search Apple, um, I can come and I can get some inf information about Apple. So for instance, more info, I can read about Apple if I want. If you want to learn specific things about using stock simulation and Investopedia, you can come here on learn and learn some specific tools that may be useful to you. Um, uh, that's basically, oh, oh I, uh, one more thing. So let's assume, um, let's go back to Apple. Let's go back to Apple. And let's say we want to buy Apple stocks. However, this time, instead of buying it normally I want to short Apple stocks so I want to borrow them uh, to sell them at the current price and hopefully in the future I can buy them back at a cheaper price to cover my uh, short position so here I want to short let's say um, 30 Apple stocks um, I want to do this at the market price so whenever the market opens I want this, ha this to happen and I want this to be today for instance Again, I can preview my order. It's going to show me the same information. How much is this actually costing me to do this and all that information. And then I submit, submit my order. That's how easy it is to have a short position uh, on the stock simulation. However, if you have a, a short position, you need to be careful. You need to make sure you cover your short position in the future. Um, and uh, so keep an eye out for the stock prices movement to make sure um, you cover it at the right time um, if the market price allows you to do so um, the investopedia actually gives you an option i can't show you right now because the the sorry the purchase the sorry the I, I don't hold the stock i don't hold the short position however if you do investopedia will give you an option where you can uh, cover where you can set some instructions to cover this to cover your short position so you can ask Investopedia to buy back the stocks if they reach a certain price or sell, um, yeah, to buy back, sorry, to buy the stocks if they reach a certain position. Anyway, I hope this was uh, useful. Uh, if you have any other questions, you can always ask your instructors. Uh, good luck with this. I hope you have fun. This should be a very fun uh, project and a very useful one. So good luck and uh, good